Okay then, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade or replace your SSD on a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro from mid 2012 to mid 2013. What you're going to need is one, obviously a replacement SSD that looks like this and two, a five point pentalope screwdriver which is used for undoing the screws on the back of the MacBook Pro case. You will need a T5 Torx screwdriver which you'll use to undo the screw on the back of the solid state drive. And finally you will need an external USB hard drive if you want to back up your data on your existing hard drive and transfer it to the new one. Cracky. And before we start opening up the MacBook and changing the hard drive what we're going to need to do is back up our internal hard drive onto an external hard drive. As you can see my internal hard drive is 250 gigs and I'm going to be replacing it with a 512 gig solid state drive. Now the reason we have to back it up beforehand is because obviously when we take out the drive we're not going to be able to actually get that data off um, as it is not got the standard SATA socket so we can't plug it into a, an external USB etc. So anyway I've just plugged my external drive in and I'm going to use some software called SuperDuper. Now this is free software you can download the link is going to be in the description so just open it up and you see I've selected here the Macintosh hard drive which is the internal drive and I want to copy it to my external hard drive here um, so all I have to do is make sure it says back up all files and click copy now I have to enter my password and click copy again and this will run through, copy all of my files and operating system off the internal drive to my external drive and make it bootable when the process is finished. And then after this I can boot from my external hard drive and do exactly the same process in reverse, copying from the external hard drive to the internal drive which I will have upgraded by then to a 512 gig hard drive. Anyway, there's no point us looking at this copy of files, I'm going to skip through to the next part. OK guys, let's start by removing the case of the MacBook Pro. First we've got to undo 10 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. When you're taking out the screws from the case, remember not all the screws are the same size, so it's a good idea to try and keep the screws in a logical positioning so you know where each one's come from. Be careful with the screws because they're really tiny. But if you do happen to drop one on the floor, rather than crawling around on the floor trying to find it, if you have a magnet, grab the magnet and wave the magnet over the part of the floor where you think the screw's fallen and hopefully, with any luck, the screw will stick to the bottom of the magnet, helping you locate it. OK, and the final screw. There we are, it's out. And hopefully the case should now just lift off fairly easily. Whoa, oh dear. There seems to be a lot of dust and dirt inside the Mac. Obviously when they're left on, they manage to pick up dirt and suck it through the vents. You can see here it's very dirty and definitely would be a good idea to give it a bit of a clean. And what I've got to clean the MacBook is a very high tech tool I stole off my girlfriend. It's a makeup brush. Well, it makes a good tool to clean off all the dust and dirt off the circuit board. Okay, that's about it, I think. 
OK, after getting out the dust and dirt from the MacBook, we're now ready to remove the SSD. The SSD is located on the left hand side of the MacBook underneath the fan. It's held down by one Torx 5 screw and goes into a slot marked with the green circle. So, we just have to move this one screw here, a Torx 5 screw, which holds the solid state hard drive to the motherboard. And once that is out, it's just a simple job of pulling away from the clip to remove the solid state drive. OK, so this is now where we need our new solid state hard drive to replace the old one. And it easily just pushes into the slot and then gently let it down. And then we need to put back in our Torx 5 screw back into the hole. And when doing it up, be careful not to over tighten it. Right, now the solid state drives in. I'm just going to check one last time that it's secure. And now it's time to put the case back onto the computer. And now we have to do up the 10 screws that we took off earlier. And for those of you like me who didn't sort your screws, here's where the different length screws go. There are two short, four medium and four longer screws. The two smallest screws go in the two inner or centre holes of the case. The four medium sized screws go into the four holes on the bottom of the case. And finally, the four longest screws go in the top two left and right holes of the case. Right, with the case back on the laptop, it's now time to turn the laptop over and to grab our external USB hard drive and to plug the cable back into the USB port so we can later transfer the data off that onto our solid state hard drive inside. So now turn on your laptop and whilst turning it on, hold down the Alt key so we boot up to the boot menu and can choose to boot from the external drive. Remember, it will take long to boot from an external hard drive, so be patient and it will soon be up. And when you get to the login screen, click on your username, pop in any password if you have one, so you can get onto the desktop ready for the next stage. So, after rebooting your MacBook using the external hard drive, it's time to go to Disk Utility and format your internal hard drive. So I'm going to choose one partition and I want to name my drive OS X and leave the format as it is Mac OS Extended Journaled and click apply. Right, now we've formatted our disk, we can open SuperDuper and just as before we need to copy one hard drive to the other. So you can see there is our external hard drive and we want to choose the destination to be our internal hard drive and click copy now. Pop in our password, click OK and click copy again. And basically leave this to run. Okay, after 54 minutes the copy is complete and now we can reboot the Mac and remove the external hard drive. I've restarted the MacBook and as you can see the external hard drive is no longer plugged in and we have our internal drive at 499.93 gigabytes. So there we have it, the hard drive upgraded to a 512 gig solid state drive. Well. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more content from me, then please subscribe to the channel.